This lot were all smart enough to realise a little change-up was long overdue, and it was those various minor upgrades that helped transform them into some of the coolest workers in the game. I am Gareth here from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 brilliant tweaks that suddenly made wrestlers cool as F-word. Number 10, Seth Rollins' new tune leads to a surge in popularity. Sure, everyone appreciated his typically superb work in between the ropes, but everything from his arc tech to the Monday Night Messiah shtick, never managed to really take Seth Rollins to the next level in terms of audience reaction. Back at WrestleMania 37 though, the star debuted a new piece of entrance music that would ultimately help elevate him to the rank of one of the most over figures WWE had to offer. On top of slowly turning up the volume on his already increasingly outrageous outfits, the crowd suddenly deciding to get in on the woes present in that updated tune, unexpected combined to create magic, as Seth went from cackling annoyance to one of the coolest slash bizarrest acts in town. Your mileage may vary on the flashy hero's silly get-ups and insistence on leaning into the deafening singing more and more each week, but on the whole, the evidence of Rollins' tune helping gradually take him from reliable main eventer to one of the most popular lads in the business is there for all to hear. Number 9, a change of hair colour helps make Cody Rhodes undeniable. And no point during his first WWE run would any fan have been quick to class the son of Dusty Rhodes as one of the cooler performers found bumping on weekly sports entertainment programming. And for the longest time, Cody Rhodes was also completely against adopting the same coloured hair his legendary father had sported throughout his time immortalising himself within the industry. But both those things suddenly changed back in 2017, not too long after requesting his release from and leaving WWE. Rhodes finally decided to embrace the hair colour that instantly brought back memories of his iconic late father at Ring of Honor's final battle pay-per-view that year. That night may have ended in defeat and the losing of his Ring of Honor World Championship to Dalton Castle, but Rhodes' surprising tweaking of his hairstyle that night only further cemented his status as one of the coolest stars working in the industry at the time. And that unmistakable hair is now a vital part of the awesome American Nightmare brand WWE jumped at the chance to bring into their universe. Number 8. Sheamus dials the physicality up to 11. Back in September, AEW's world champion MJF opted to mercilessly bury one of WWE's longest serving powerhouses. Those comments stating that Sheamus had taken a decade to get over may have seemed a little harsh at first but the loudmouth salt of the earth did have a bit of a point. Despite regularly colliding with some of the biggest stars the company had to offer, holding multiple world titles and changing up his character on a number of occasions, the big Irish ass kicker had never really reached the level of super popular face or properly detestable heel. Something just never properly clicked. Until the summer of 2022. Sheamus had always been a pretty hard-hitting, no-nonsense worker, but clashing with a ring general like Gunter brought a new level of babyface intensity out of the fire-haired brawling brute. With the pair's Clash at the Castle epic briefly seeing Shami rise to the level of hottest hero in the company, the star didn't even drastically change that much. He simply took his already highly physical style and passionate persona up a few notches. And in the process, the former WWE champion went from stale mid-carder to one of the most enjoyable badasses in the business. Now, what was your favourite banger of the last year? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. Number 7. Randy Orton embraces his new stoner pal. This Despite all those world title wins, WrestleMania main events, and countless other accolades, there had never really been a moment in time when fans accepted Randy Orton as a genuinely cool babyface they could properly get behind. The Viper was simply at his best when he was effortlessly stabbing the folks you actually enjoyed watching in the back. However, 20 years into his run as part of the sports entertainment machine, Orton came into contact with a wide-eyed stoner by the name of Matt Riddle, and arguably the best run of his entire career soon began to unfold. Along with consistently unleashing arguably the most electric hot tag in the game, the Viper's subtle shift from sinister veteran to exasperated straight man was inspired. And in no time at all, the pair's odd couple chemistry resulted in RK Bro becoming one of the hottest and freshest acts in the company. Who knew that all it took to turn Randy into a legitimately over hero was a few weed jokes and a flip-flop wearing psychic. Number 6. Brock plus cowboy hat equals Manet. The sight of Brock Lesnar launching an 
another human around a squared circle will never not be awesome. That being said, the Beast Incarnate's once effective gimmick of sporadically rocking up to Raw or SmackDown, obliterating some unfortunate full-timers, and silently dancing around the ring whilst Paul Heyman did his talking for him, had worn a little bit thin by WrestleMania 36. So when a ponytail-boasting Brock did make a shocking comeback on the night of SummerSlam 2021, the idea of the returning former UFC heavyweight champion once again clashing with Heyman's new client, Roman Reigns, didn't immediately get pulses racing. Little did fans know that new facial hair and top knot weren't the only things different about this familiar foe. During his time away, Brock had actually hilariously embraced his inner cowboy, with this still rather terrifying force of nature gradually morphing into one of the coolest protagonists in wrestling after eventually donning a cool new hat and reminding folks that he was secretly one of the finest talkers on the roster. Cowboy Brock clearly had the time of his damn life organically popping the crowd and showing the world how effortlessly he could step into the role of undeniably awesome babyface. And it was a hell of a ride while it lasted. Number 5. Bobby Lashley Brings In New Management Another formidable former heavyweight MMA fighter who was in need of a bit of a change-up heading out of the surreal WrestleMania experience that was the 36th show of shows, Bobby Lashley was in a strange place back in mid-2020, and after losing to Alistair Black in an instantly forgotten match at the Performance Center event, the powerhouse eventually decided to consider a change in management. At this point, the former United States champion was being aided by his on-screen wife, Lana, but that bizarre partnership on the back of an equally odd Rusev love triangle hadn't exactly helped reignite the floundering titan's career. Lashley had finally had enough by the time Lana accidentally cost her hubby a WWE Championship match against Drew McIntyre at Backlash, and the star opted to file for divorce soon after. That's a hell of a reaction. The ending of that relationship ultimately kicked off a chain reaction which led to the forming of a little faction by the name of The Hurt Business. And it wasn't too long before this cool, suited and booted unit were draped in gold. With that time bulldozing the roster helping set the stage for Lashley to finally take his place as WWE's next main event prize fighter. Number 4. Athena's Attitude Adjustment Throughout her career, Athena has always been one of the most explosive and exciting workers on just about any roster she's found herself on. And that was certainly the case when she finally arrived in AEW after being released from WWE in 2021. However, despite definitely still showcasing flickers of the fiery performer within during those early days on the All Elite product, the one-time Ember Moon still seemed a little lost on the back of her rather underwhelming final days in the world of sports entertainment. Athena as a violent babyface was fine, however it soon became apparent that a slight change in attitude could offer her the chance to finally re-establish herself as one of the most captivating personalities working today. After suddenly and shockingly snapping on Aubrey Edwards during a rampage battle in November 2022, Athena gradually exuded a more sadistic energy and began acting like a little snarky a-hole in her own words. That revival of her American Joshi hard-hitting bad guy approach hasn't just led to her becoming the current and rather vicious Ring of Honor women's champion, it's also made her one of the coolest villains in the game and made every one of her brutal defenses a must-see event. Number 3. Miro Bins Off The Games Rather than arriving in town and simply being pushed as a charismatic wrecking machine, the one time Rusev showed up in AEW as Kip Sabian's best man. And the two spent more time tapping away on video games than taking the company by storm. Thankfully, Tony Khan had the sense to finally let Miro ditch the video games and his odd alliance with Sabian in April 2021. And with a few tweaks to his overall presentation, God's favorite champion soon set about dominating just about every soul put in front of him as one of the company's greatest TNT champions to date. Miro himself admitted to that initial gamer gimmick just not being true to who he was as a person. The Redeemer, though, was a savage character that finally felt like the chance to show the world what the former WWE star was really capable of. Number 2. Roman Reigns Ditches the Vest the big dog always possessed the potential to one day become the biggest star in the industry. His progress was just largely stifled by dreadful dialogue, frustrating booking, and an anything but cool overall presentation. Back when Roman Reigns was fighting alongside the other Hounds of Justice, that tactical vest and thunderous duh duh music worked a treat, sure. But while the rest of the wrestling world moved on in the six years that followed the infamous Shield breakup, the regularly rejected face of the company wasn't allowed to drop the same English 
increasingly stale look he'd been sporting for almost a decade. Then, after years of folks crying out for a change, Roman finally shed that outdated Shield tribute look and debuted an absolutely ripped torso at Clash of Champions 2020. The returning Tribal Chief's long-awaited shift into arrogant heel territory obviously helped him rise to the level of most compelling figure on wrestling television too. However, it was the visual tweak of that much-needed vest dropping and addition of his operatic new accompaniment whenever he wandered into an arena that really kicked off Roman's reign as the coolest villain of the modern era. And number one, the guns upgrade their entrance. Throughout much of their time as one of the company's go-to jobber units, and even after shockingly beating the acclaim to win their tag team gold, the guns would often burst onto the stage and flail around like a pair of unruly kids hyped on Haribo. In a move that instantly made the AEW duo feel like a bit of a big deal though, that arrival was completely overhauled heading into their championship match with FTR on April 5th's Dynamite. Adding 50 Cent's Many Men tune to the mix for the night, the cocky unit simply stood back to back with mist in the air as a camera panned around them. Simple but oh so very cool. In fact, it didn't take long for AEW fans to start classing this as perhaps the coolest entrance in the business, even without 50 Cent's Men. With Austin's Triple H-esque water sprays as he fired off his finger guns being another smooth touch. With one masterful tweak, even these dweebs managed to rise to the rank of undisputedly cool. And that is our list. Know of any other brilliant tweaks that suddenly made wrestlers cool as F-word? Well, let us know all about them in the comments section right down below, and don't forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're down there. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you for watching this video today, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!